Welcome welcome to this introduction to Kundalini Awakening Yoga and the Chakra Balancing Series. Today's class is going to be a general overview, moving through all of the different chakras, really allowing ourselves to get into those lower chakras, expand into our heart, and move some of that energy upward towards our upper chakras. <clears throat> We're going to start off today's practice sitting in a nice, tall, straight spine, an easy pose, cross-legged on the floor. If this is challenging for your hips or your back, you can always place a pillow under your seat. We're going to be seated here for just a few minutes before we get started moving. And we always open our Kundalini class with the Adi Mantra which is a mantra that really welcomes in the, the support and the um, connection of teachers that have come long before us and who are still yet to come, as well as really containing the space into um, a, a safe place for us to explore this practice together. And so the words for the Adi mantra are Om Namo Gurudev Namo, we repeat it three times. We'll do this every class. So if your first time you're just listening, uh, that's perfectly okay. And as you get used to the words, join me in chanting this mantra to open our class. So sitting up nice and tall, bringing your eyes down closed, imagining almost a string from the top of your head pulling towards the sky, just allowing your spine to be straight as you sit here, taking a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale with a big sigh. One more time, a big deep inhale through your nose. And exhale with a sigh. And we'll inhale to open our practice. Om Namo your shoulders down and exhale one more time deep breath in hold the breath relax soften and exhale we're going to start our practice today with a few minutes of alternate nostril breathing. So first I'll just demonstrate and then I'll invite you to join in at your own rate and your own rhythm. And while you're doing the breath, just I will offer a few uh, teaching points on the breath, but really allowing yourself to close your eyes and experience what this balancing breath does to your system, to your whole body and to how you feel right now. So with the mudra, we kind of make this U with our thumb and index finger of our right hand. So your thumb is going to be what blocks off your right nostril. Your index finger is what will block off your left nostril. So we start this breath by first blocking off your left nostril. We inhale through the right side. At the top of the inhale, you switch your fingers, block off your right nostril, exhale out your left side. And then right away, inhaling through your left side. 
then blocking off your left side, exhale out the right. Then inhale through the right. Blocking off the right, joining me when you're ready, exhaling out the left. Inhaling through the left. Blocking off the left. Finding your own pattern with the breath. You're always exhaling and inhaling out of the same nostril and then switching. Exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, inhale, switch. They say we get into these breath patterns and we predominantly breathe through one side of our nose versus the other. And that switches about every hour and a half to two and a half hours. And our, our right side of our nose, when we're predominantly breathing through the right side, it's said to be the, the breath of the sun and energy and vigor and really bringing this alertness and concentration into our state. And when we're breathing on the left side, primarily, then we're bringing in this state of cooling and calm and empathy and sensitivity and emotions. And so when we consciously do this alternate nostril breathing, we are resetting that system into a balanced way. We're, we're engaging both of these energies so that we can have an alertness and a calmness, a balancing, if you will, um, in our system. So really just continuing with that breath, finding your own rhythm and rate and allowing yourself to just drop in with your eyes closed, feeling that breath coming in and out, feeling the difference on both sides, and just allow yourself to sink into what you're feeling right now. up, just reset, come back in, keeping those breaths slow and controlled, inhale, same thing on the exhale, controlling the exhale, letting it fall away. Be here for about another minute. breath for about three to five minutes every day can really start to create some balance and co coherence in your entire nervous system. Just finishing up that breath. Following the exhale, letting your hands drop down onto your knees. And from here, we're going to begin our movement practice. So starting with your hands over your knees, we're gonna inhale as we pull our body back and around. Exhale as we come towards the ground, swinging our body, swooping down towards the floor. Inhaling as we go back, exhaling as we come forward. Closing down your eyes, breathing through your nose, letting your breath be an energized breath. Really pulling deeply into your body with each inhale, and each exhale, really actively releasing that breath, letting it go. Noticing as you're moving where you might be holding some tightness, some tension in your body. And as you breathe, really intending to breathe that breath into those tight spaces. So if it's your hips or your low back, your pelvis, your legs, your shoulders, wherever it is that you are holding some tension right now, 
as you move your body in this way, breathing into those places, opening with the breath, welcoming sensation that's alive in your body. Breathing deep, inhale back, exhale as you circle forward. Let's do another one in this direction. When you come back up, seated nice and tall, just pause for a moment, catch your breath, find your balance, and then begin moving in the other direction. So in, again, inhaling back, exhaling as you come around forward. Inhale back, exhale as your head swings towards, almost like your forehead is grazing across the floor as you float your body around and around, twisting and turning, awakening this energy in our lower spine, in our hips, in our sacral, in our root, really churning this energy down here in these lower chakras and opening to the experience of whatever sensation you are feeling in your body right now. The important piece of noticing sensation is to leave judgment aside. We have a tendency to attach a story to whatever we feel in our body, making judgments about why it's there or why we don't want it there. The important part when you are allowing yourself to experience what's inside of your body is to do so without a judgment, to just open to it to be curious with it and to welcome it with your breath and your attention. Inhaling back, exhaling forward. Finishing up this side, coming back to center, to neutral spine, pausing here, finding your balance, keeping your hands out over your knees. We're going to inhale as you pull your body forward, exhale as you curl your body back. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhale forward, exhale back, trying as best you can to keep your chin neutral with the floor not allowing your head to flop around with the movement and really like imagining there's a string coming out of the center of your chest that's pulling you towards the front of the room so leading this movement with your chest and your hips rocking forward and back as you curl your spine back allow your hands to help you let this be a really active movement with an energized breath inhaling through your nose exhaling as you curl back Close your eyes down. Feel the awakening of the energy in your spine as you curl and flex and allow this gentle movement of your spine. Something so simple can feel quite challenging so just breathing with the movement and accepting where you are at right now as being okay. There is no right or wrong. There's no, I should be somewhere else. It's just where we are right now today. So just opening into that, breathing with it. Few more here. And coming back.
back to neutral, just pausing here, sitting up nice and tall. Just checking in, noticing what you feel in your body. Noticing sensation in your body, noticing any feelings that might be here. Taking a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale with a big sigh. That's it. From here, we're going to extend our right leg out. In front of us, our left leg is going to come in, planting our foot deep into our thigh, into our right thigh, turning towards your right foot. We're going to take a big inhale here and sit up nice and tall, really letting your spine be strong and straight. And then from there, the exhale, we're going to fall over our right leg. On the next inhale, coming up, sitting up nice and tall, exhaling, cascading over your right leg, inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you fall. Just noticing where it feels tight, where it feels tense, and breathing into those spaces. Letting your breath and your movement feel like a wave coming up on that inhale, really letting your body straighten and awaken as you fall down over your knee. Just like a wave cascading down, falling into itself. Let your breath be heavy and deep. And on your next inhale, sitting up nice and tall, exhale, folding over that right leg and resting here in the fold, deep breath in and out. Softening into the discomfort in your hips, your back, your leg. Just really noticing. Noticing and breathing into it as you soften into this pose. And on your next inhale, walking your hand back up your leg and switching sides. This time the left leg extending out, <clears throat> your right foot coming into your left thigh, turning towards your left leg. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, folding down over that left leg. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale as you fold over that left leg. Close your eyes. Letting the breath guide your movement, inhaling up, exhaling as you curl down. Letting your breath energize your movement. Breathe just like a wave coming up and tall. Exhaling, falling down, cascading in a very gentle way in a flowing movement with your breath. Noticing how each breath brings open and expand just a little bit more. <clears throat> mm 
And on your next inhale, pulling your spine straight up towards the sky and exhale, fold over your left leg and resting here in the fold, breathing, closing your eyes, softening again into the discomfort that might be here for you. On your next inhale, walking your hands up your legs, bringing your left leg in back into easy pose. <clears throat> From here, seated tall, bringing your hands up, your fingertips pointing down towards your underarm. From here, we inhale as we twist left, exhale as you twist right. Inhale left, exhale right. Closing your eyes, finding your own rhythm, Finding your flow with your breath. Inhale left, exhale, twist right. Letting your head move with the, with the twisting movement here as we open in even deeper into our hips and our low back, into our sacral spine. <clears throat> twisting almost like we are wringing out those overtaxed and stressed adrenal glands connected in with our second and third chakra. Inhale, left, exhale, right, twisting, turning. Close your eyes. Here. And we'll come back to neutral spine, deep inhale. And exhale, dropping your hands down onto your knees. Staying here as long as you like. If you feel ready to move, bring your legs out from underneath you, coming onto all fours into what's known as cat cow, but moving in a quicker fashion here. We're going to inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, tucking your tailbone, curling your spine, looking towards your feet. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, curl. So again, closing your eyes, letting your breath guide your movement, <clears throat> trusting your body, moving with your breath in a quicker way than you might be used to. But again, we're really focusing on opening and awakening that energy that is within our nervous system, along our spine. <laughs> Three more here. And coming back to a neutral spine, pausing for a moment, breathe. <clears throat> Walking your hands out just a little bit in front of your shoulders. And from here, we're going to kick your hip out to the right side, circling back towards your ankles and then back out towards the left side and bringing down your sacral towards the mat, circling again out to the right, back to your heels, out to the left and back down. 
closing your eyes and really feeling into this movement, trusting your body, knowing where its limits are, challenging those limits just ever so slightly. Remember that anything that's painful, talking really painful, is a sign that you should back off, you should modify. And taking child's pose here would be appropriate if this is really difficult and really painful. But if it just feels a little uncomfortable, a little tight, a little tender, I invite you to breathe into that and to move with it as best as you can. Noticing, as most of us are, our one side being a little more tight than the other. And as you finish up this next one coming around, come back to center, readjust your legs. <clears throat> and this time, kicking your hip out to the left, circling back down towards your ankle, out towards your right side, and around. Same thing, circling, but in the other direction. Again, just noticing what might feel a little bit more open, more expanded, more flowing than it did on the other side, or maybe more tense, more restriction, more contraction, just noticing. Again, we're gonna leave that judgment aside. We don't need to make a story up about it about why it should or shouldn't be the way that it is. Instead, we're just going to allow it to be what it is right now. And you're going to modify and adjust your movement based on what's available to you right now, which is going to be different from what's available to me and anyone else. Breathing. And on the next time around, just pausing here at the top, adjusting your feet again, your knees <clears throat> into this tabletop position. Breathe. Taking child's pose if you need it, otherwise curling your toes underneath, walking your hands back towards your knees, planting your fingertips into the, into the mat and coming up onto the balls of your feet. From here, we're gonna move into frog pose. <clears throat> and so as we inhale, sorry, not as we inhale, we're going to use a mantra as we do this movement. And so the mantra is sata nama, sata nama. So as we come up, bringing your legs almost to straight, this is sa, as we come down, looking up across the room, ta, coming up, na, and back down, ma. So using the mantra, using the movement, come with me. We'll go nice and slow to get used to the movement. If this is too challenging for you, you can always come to full standing and sink into a small squat, coming up and down, or just holding a squat. Or again, you can always take child's pose and just breathe and use the mantra with us. But if you're coming with me, here we go. Sa, ta, na, ma. 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 Two more rounds. Sa, ta, na, ma. Last time. Ta, na, Ma, and hold it here. You hear the crackling of my knees. Taking a deep breath. Exhale. Bring your knees together. Dropping your feet. Slowly uncurling your spine. Taking all the time you need. Come back to standing. Your head being the last thing to come up. <clears throat> and 
After you meet me here in standing, we're gonna move into <clears throat> a movement that has four different parts. And so the first part, your feet are just wider than hip, and we're gonna bring our hands overhead eight times. And with the eight times, we're gonna use the mantra HUD and then HUD. So seven times we'll chant HUD. It's spelled H-A-R, but when we say it, we really wanna be contracting in our belly and so we're going to say it seven times and on the eighth time hadi. then we're going to come to the floor so bending your knees you're going to hit the floor had, 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 had. Hadi. coming back up flapping your arms in very small movements at your side had, 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 had. and then from here crisscross had, had. Okay, so four part movements, seven hud, last one hudi. Taking a deep breath. Exhale it out. And let's go. Hud, 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 hudi. Hit the floor. Hud, hud. Stop your arms. Hug, 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 crisscross. Hug, 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 overhead. Hug, 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 hit the floor. Hug, 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 Hud, 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 hudi overhead. Hud, 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 hudi hit the floor. Hud, 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 Hadi, hold it here. Deep breath in, lift your arms up nice and tall. Exhale, swing your arms back, let it go. Inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, let it go. Keep it moving. <laughs> Last time. And reach up nice and tall, big inhale. Exhale, hold it here, reach. Inhale, reach, tall. And on the next exhale, slowly lowering your hands. Taking your time. Pausing here for a moment. Your eyes closed, feeling your heart beating. On the next inhale, Raising your hands up overhead, letting your hands touch over top, interlacing your fingers, pressing your palms to the sky. Exhale, deep inhale. And on the next exhale, bending your knees, bringing your hands down to the ground, 
Inhale, scooping up, bringing your hands up past your body, all the way overhead, flipping your hands to the sky, exhaling as you come back down toward the floor. Inhale again, scooping up over your body. Exhale as you come back down. Inhaling as you lift, bathing your body in the beautiful energy that you just scooped up from the earth, drawing it all over your body, bringing yourself new life energy, bringing in everything that you need. And on the exhale, releasing all that doesn't serve you back down into the earth to be transmuted into love. Inhale, bringing everything you need, bathing it over your body. Exhale, letting go of everything you don't. Time. Finishing on that inhale, reaching your hands high up overhead, exhale. Another deep inhale, reach. And on the exhale, releasing your hands and slowly, slowly, slowly lowering them back down to your sides. Here, bringing your hands onto your hips, stepping your feet out just a little bit wider than your hips. From here, we're going to inhale as we circle back with our torso. Exhale as you circle forward. So inhale back, exhale forward, keeping softness in your knees, closing your eyes if you can with this position, this movement can create some dizziness for people. So just listening to your body. Breathing with your body. Opening. Next time up, pausing for a moment, finding your balance, and then moving in the other direction. Inhale back, exhale forward as you swing, circling your torso around your hips.
one more time around. And coming back up to center, dropping your hands down by your sides, closing your eyes. Breathe. Feel what's here for you right now. Taking your time slowly to drop down onto your knees, sitting back on your heels, bringing your hands in behind your back, interlacing your fingers, pressing your palms together. If it's available for you, straightening your arms and pulling them away from your body, if that feels good. It doesn't create any pain for you. And from here, we're gonna come back to that mantra, sa, ta, na, ma, as we bow our head forward towards the mat. So coming with me, sa, ta, na, ma, 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 sa, ta, na, Ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma three more rounds sa ta na ma sa ta na ma last time sa ta na ma pausing here deep inhale exhale on the next inhale, release your hands and let them float up towards the sky. Pressing your palms together, exhale. Inhale, reach, pressing your palms. And exhale, release, slowly lowering your hands. Taking all the time you need. Swing your legs out from underneath you. Planting your feet on the mat, slowly lowering yourself all the way down. Your hands on the mat, your palms on the floor. From here, we're going to lift or <clears throat> sits off of the mat, reaching your pelvis towards the sky with the mantra sa ta na ma join me. Sa ta na ma 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 sa ta na Ma, last time, sa, ta, na, ma, hold it here. Bring your knees into your body, into your chest, wrap your hands around your knees and just rock your body side to side. Breathe.
slowly releasing your hands, letting your legs extend out beneath you. And from here, we're going to come into stretch pose. So the full version is your hands, your head, and your feet six inches off of the floor. And we're going to do low, slow, deep breathing in that position. If it's too much for you, you can drop your feet. You can drop your head. You can drop your whole body and just lay on the mat and breathe. Whatever feels available to you, challenge yourself, push yourself. If you're coming with me, hands, head, and feet off of the mat and breathe. Slowly lowering back down onto the mat. Drawing your knees into your chest again. Wrap your hands around. Rock your legs, your body side to side. And bringing your hands underneath your knees. Rocking your body up and back. Coming back to seated position on your mat. <clears throat> coming into a meditation before we close out our practice. So sitting up in easy pose, the spine straight, the elbows are going to be bent, raising your hands up until they meet at the level of the heart, a few inches from the body, your palms facing the chest, your right palm behind your left palm, your thumb tips cracking together holding your hands and forearms parallel to the ground. Your eyes are almost completely shut, about nine tenths closed. The breath is going to be a slow controlled inhale through the nose and then calmly holding your breath in for a maximum 15 to 20 seconds. If that's too much for you, you hold as long as you can until you feel that first twinge of air hunger Hold it just a minor second after, and then slowly let the breath go. Same thing on the exhale, slowly and calmly, completely exhaling the breath and holding the breath out for 15 to 20 seconds. Really concentrate on that breath, taking in a deep, deep inhale into your body. And I'll let you find your own pace with it. So closing down your eyes, and begin when you're ready.
exhale, releasing your hands, slowly lowering your body all the way down to your mat. Lying flat on your back, your legs open, feet fall into the sides, your arms at your sides, your palms facing the sky, your eyes closed, allowing your body to be heavy on the mat. If you are using the essential oils with the practice, you could apply a couple drops to your hands, rubbing your hands together and breathing in the smell of those oils, those grounding, uplifting oils. Again, the power of these essential oils is similar to our breath and how we can create that balance and that coherence in our system, in our nervous system, our chakra system. It's allowing your body to be heavy. As I guide you through this visualization, you may want to move your hands to the different spaces of your body, or you can just inwardly draw your attention to these spaces of your body. Starting down in the root chakra, at the very root of your tailbone, your spine, your perineum, you can place your hands there or you can place your hands on your thighs. As we envision roots growing down our legs, out through the bottoms of our feet, these roots extending down, down into the earth. And as they breach, the surface of the earth, they're met with the roots of everyone and everything contained in this planet. This intermingling of roots extends down, down, deep into the earth's core, the heart of Mother Earth, where it is charged, these roots are charged with this nourishing energy of life, we can feel that energy coursing up from our roots, up into our body, through our root chakra, up and through our whole system, making its way through our entire central channel, nourishing every cell, every bit of our body, of our mind, and of our spirit. We bring our attention back down to the root of our body, envisioning a, a bright red light glowing, encompassing this space, feeding the earth. From here, we repeat the mantra, I am safe. Lam. Your attention or your hands now move into your sacral, the space just below your navel, your belly that houses all of your reproductive organs, the space of sensuality, of pleasure, and of your emotional experience, the element of water. You envision a beautiful crystal lake with a glowing orange sunset gleaming down over this lake, this lake filling the bowl of your pelvis, watering the roots that are extending down into the earth. And with this orange glow, we repeat the mantra, I feel. Bringing your attention or your hands now upward into the solar plexus chakra, the space above your navel, our power center, the space of will and mastery in our life of confidence. Like a glowing fire, we see this raging, beautiful yellow light expanding from the center of our core out into all directions and dimensions. This yellow fire illuminating and inviting. 
from this space, we repeat the mantra, I am powerful. Coming up now into your heart space with your hands and your attention over the center of your chest, the bridge chakra beneath, between our lower chakras and our higher chakras. This bridge, the most complex intertanglement of energy flow lines in our entire system. And as we bring our attention into our heart space, we see it expanding with this emerald green light that shines and encompasses our entire chest, down our arms, out our hands. This space of love and connection and compassion, of forgiveness and understanding. This purest divine source within us. And we repeat the mantra, I am love. Coming up now with your hands or your attention into your throat chakra. We envision a sky blue light filling our throat and our mouth, even our ears, down our neck. This blue, the sky blue light, filling the center of expression, of communication. And as we envision this light, we invite the mantra, I am expressed. And your attention now flowing up to your third eye with your hands possibly cupping the center of your forehead. An indigo blue light shining from the depths of your brain, the deepest parts illuminating like the night sky, shining almost like a projection emanating from your forehead, seeing all that cannot be seen with the naked eye, knowing cannot be proved at times, but knowing. And we repeat the mantra, I am connected. Lastly, bringing our hands up over the top of our head to our crown chakra, envisioning a bright white light shining down through our, our crown, filling our entire body dissolving all illusion of duality, of polarity, seeing only the divine oneness that is the truth, our connection with all. And we repeat the mantra, I am divine. Bring your hands down again to your mat. Raising up your legs, bringing your feet to touch, your palms to touch over your body, rubbing your hands and your feet together, stimulating all 72,000 nerve endings or chakras in your entire body. And bringing your hands under your knees, rocking your body up and back, coming back to seated. Sitting up nice and tall, we close our practice with one long satnam. Bring your hands together at heart center. Deep inhale through your nose. Sigh it out, exhale. And inhale to close. Sigh. 